Ziv from the Weizmann Institute. Uh, I'm working in the lab of uh, Dr. Gershev, and uh, I'm a phonobiologist with Mithrat. And this is a hot topic, so you can read uh, for more, it's not too just for more. And, uh, so everybody are influenced, all of you are influenced by this block. I mean, this block is regulated in Ayurvedic physiology and biology. Example, our athletic performance is regulated by this block. And our rest activity cycle and our feeding behavior is also regulated by this block. Um, and the clock in mammals are located in the brain. Okay, the suprachiasmatic nucleus, the clock receives the photic light uh, to entrain itself. And in the past, they thought there was only one clock, but today we know that there are many, um, we can say even millions of clock. Okay, every organ in our body have a functional clock that participate in modulation of uh, those uh, components. And together, now, before I continue, the clock in the liver, for example, cannot entrain by light. So food is the main entrainment for the peripheral clock. When they are acting together in synchronization, they can regulate up to 10% of our genomes and up to 15% of our metabolism. This is a lot. Now, a classical example of how we can measure a clock. So we are working with mice. Mice are nocturnal animals, meaning they are active during the night. Okay, and if you take the mice and put them in the, on the wheel, you see that when you turn off the light, it starts to rise. Now what happens when you turn off, off completely the light, you can see that there's a shift in their activity. And the reason is the internal clock doesn't know exactly how to measure 24 hours. The free running, okay, we call it free running, it's a little bit less. And it will be important uh, later on. Now we can also do that also in tissue culture, or get into it. But you can see that we can get from a simple dish while they are still alive. You can see the tau, and also you can see the amplitude of the signal itself. Now, my topic is polyamine, aging, and the clock, and I need to tie this up together. So first of all, a few words about polyamines. Polyamines are metabolite, positively charged the components that are exist in every model and every organism. They are participating in many uh, important essential cellular processes from uh, DNA and RNA synthesization, signal transduction, and many others. And the context for, with aging, that polyamine level decrease uh, as we age, okay? And there is also some paper that uh, claim that if you can uh, add polyamines to a diet, you can uh, elongate uh, life and improve also the quality. So this is this part of the triangle. Now the second part is connecting the aging with the clock. Um, as you can see that we know that uh, as we get older, the robustness of the clock deteriorates. Okay, also the tau free run period is changing. And also we can see on the other hand, on the other side of the example, when we have mice, uh, modern mice lacking functional clock, they are aged much more early and also develop uh, pathological that can be associated with aging. Uh, nine theory that I encountered in the, when I was preparing my talk, well, there is a theory that the closest you are to this 24 hours to this air tau, the longer you will live. And uh, we have in our institute a mice model that a long life mice, okay, that they have a, a tau of exactly 24 hours. Now, it's still a correlation, but it's interesting to investigate further and investigate the connection between functional tau uh, to long liberty. Because every day we have to adjust, we have to make a small correction in our clock, in our physiology, in order to sustain 24 hours. Now, my uh, project that I'm, we are going to uh, hopefully publish soon is the connection between the clock and polyamines. Now, this is, I think, the major uh, aspect in this. Uh, in this triangle because we have to show the mechanism, what is underlying all of this correlation. Okay, and we saw that in our study that a feeding regime and the clock participate in regulation uh, of the polyamine biosynthesis within the cell, within the animal. And on the, uh, on the other hand, on the other part of the circle, that the polyamine are essential for proper clock function. I mean, polyamine can di dictate flows or normal tau, and also modulate some uh, post consumption and modification <coughs> that are important to the clock. Now, this slide, last slide is uh, important. It's taken in the 200, uh, 2012 Olympics. 
and the French swimming team actually after they won the American swimming team. And needless to say, the Dominic, I'm nothing without them. Um, so I want to thank uh, my, uh, my friend at the lab, six minutes, but okay, yeah. And uh, my collaboration, and I have more slides if you have more questions. Questions, please. So you mentioned the mouse model which is about 24 hours, which okay, we can expect that. So these those are the Mupa mice, okay? I call them Shimon Peres mice because they are uh, age perfect. You can see those mice are 18 uh, months old, um, and the both of these are amazing. And what I'm interested about is when the Normal mice, okay, are young. Their tau is a little bit, like I said, a little bit less than 24 hours. And as we get older, our tau is changing. So we have to invest more effort. Why in this mice tau is changing? Why this mice is longer? And is it just the correlation? This is like okay. The, the, first of all, those mice are uh, have a, a they, they are transgene, and this transgene is not. Uh, related directly to the clock. So it's hard to determine exactly what is the reason. Also, they eat less, so we can say that it's a long restriction. So this is not a perfect model. I just show it as a um, curiosity to pinpoint the, the tau. But hopefully with supplement of polyamines to the diet, we can you know, help us uh, sustain normal clock under a uh, 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 right. What is the signal the problem with the polyamines? Uh, uh, what is the connection between the signal mice and polyamines? So you get a change in the cell volume What's happening in the And the clock is composed of proteins uh, that have protein protein interaction and protein DNA interaction in order to sustain the circadian rhythm. Okay, the, and uh, all of these proteins are, have other effects, but basically we have a positive link. We have a heterodimer that binds to an e-box motif, um, expressing, leading to expression of parent chi, and parent chi inhibit their own transcription by blocking their uh, bimalin clock from uh, transcribing. And we found out that polyamine are necessary for modification of pair. And modification of pair uh, phosphorylation is uh, essential for normal tau. So if we have, as we age, the tau is deferred significantly from the 24 hours. So if we maintain, and this is still, uh, haven't been done on mice with, on a cell culture, um, because it's very difficult to populate uh, polyamines. Um, polyamines are necessary for specific modification of pair, and those modifications are uh, very important for, for this cycle, okay? Because uh, the binding for pair to the BMAL is a pair with a different polyamine layers. And this pair is polyamine or is it related to some other polyamine? Okay, it's very hard to tell, but we, polyamine, we have three of them in mammals. Or, so when we add the polyamines, let's say I add ornithine, for example, the precursor, it breaks down to putacin or spermidine and spermidine. So it's really hard to pinpoint exactly which one of the polyamines are there. But uh, with our, uh, let's say my best guess is spermidine, have several lines of evidence that point towards this uh, example. And we saw that in vitro and in vivo, addition of polyamine spermidine can cause a change in the migration of the protein, uh, this protein on a native gel and also SDS gel. And also we can see dif uh, differentiation in the binding ability in, uh, for example, AIP and QIP. What is the half-life of the polyamine in the mouth? It depends on the, uh, on the tissue that are involved in. It's days, it's hours? Sorry? It's days, hours? It's days and more than that because I've stabilized major components so such as DNA and RNA. Okay. So IXSO can be a, a, a flux from the, top, from the cell, you can throw them. The cell keep very tight regulation for a homeostasis of polyamines. This is why the clock is, this is something new that the clock is participating in this homeostasis.
Et là, on va, on va être dans notre situation. Allez, oui.